Good afternoon. This is David Gomez, president of Hostos Community College. I'm sorry that I cannot join you today, but I wanted to express our deepest condolences to Holly Block's family, friends, and all who benefited from her work in guiding the growth of the Bronx Museum of the Arts. You may not know that Holly was instrumental in setting up the museum's satellite gallery at Ostos in the early 1980s. It was located at 500 Grand Concourse, where the admissions office is now. I was a young dean at the time, and my wife and I enjoyed and were moved by the many exhibits. It was the success of the satellite gallery that helped propel the college to build a permanent gallery space at 450 Grand Concourse, now known as the Longwood Art Gallery at Ostos. We are indeed profoundly grateful for the impact that Holly had on our institution and on the community at large. She was a true visionary and will be deeply, deeply missed. My involvement with Holly was not direct, but through the wonderful legacy she created by helping and providing support to many of our artists, friends, and curators. Spoken for Juanita Lanzo from Longwood Art Gallery. I first met Holly in the 1980s when she was working at the Bronx Museum as a curator and Betty Sue Hertz and I were organizing an outdoor sculpture show for Krasdell Foods with Sig Balka. So it was amazing to have the opportunity to work together decades later on two AIM Biennials and the Tree Museum with Katie Holton, both collaborations with the Bronx Museum and Wave Hill. I think of Holly as always fierce and feisty, a consummate trailblazer, linking artists, curators, and organizations. She put the fire under us to form the Bronx Arts Alliance. As a tribute to her, we move forward stronger and more connected. Thank you, Holly. I'm Susan Shepler. When I first came to the Bronx to be the curator and director of the Durfner Judaica Museum at the Hebrew Home at Riverdale, I already knew the name Holly Block. Holly was a rock star. I had been working through the 1990s at the Jewish Museum in Manhattan and knew of Holly through her work at art in general. So here I was coming to the Bronx and there was Holly Block. It was Sig Balka who was insistent that I meet Holly and soon I did. Holly was an inspiration to so many, including myself. And what shines through, especially to me personally, is her graciousness. Both of our reputations had preceded us, so when we met, it was as if we already knew each other. Finding community in the work that we do as arts professionals helped me to acclimate to this amazing borough. The last time I saw Holly was on the Grand Concourse. We were leaving a meeting in the county offices. She was going to take a cab back to the museum. She was smiling. She was working hard, though fatigued. I was still inspired. Holly was a force for the arts in the Bronx. During her first years as director, she immediately engaged with the active community of Bronx artists. She visited numerous artist studios, organized dinners with Bronx artists and Bronx Museum artists and residents from Egypt and Cambodia. Matthew Burko, also an artist, was host and chef. Then, with sponsoring by a trustee, she opened a project space on Bruckner Boulevard for experimental works by Bronx artists. Later, she recruited me to initiate the first Friday evening artist talks at the museum with Miriam Tabb and Andre Trenier. Holly was instrumental in unifying the efforts of Bronx arts organizations into the Alliance, while she brought international recognition to the Bronx and the Bronx Museum. Holly's unwavering dedication to enhancing cultural awareness and her vision of diversity and inclusiveness will serve as inspiration for generations to come. Holly Block opened the museum doors to the Bronx Latin American Art Biennial for the past 10 years. We built a positive cultural bridge that without her would not have been possible.
Hi, Holly. Um, I hope from wherever you are, you're looking down upon what's happening here today and saying, I did this. I was the one who brought all these people together because we're all gathered here today out of love for you and for what you did for Arts in the Bronx. Speaking as man on from No Longer Empty, I have to credit you with uh, introducing us to uh, the Andrew Freeman home and helping us create that incredible exhibition that became this side of paradise and the collaborations and the Bronx Arts Alliance and all the wonderful things that happened. You were the origin of that. And your spirit was permeating everything we did in the Bronx, everything we continue to do, and the way art, Bronx arts continue to thrive in your light. So know that we miss you terribly. And I'm sure you, wherever you are, you're now organizing and creating exhibitions and, and bringing people together. So um, this is a tribute to you because we love you. And um, thank you for everything you did for us and for the Bronx. Casita Maria Center for Arts and Education expresses sincere condolences to Holly Block's family and the community. We recognize her significant contribution to Bronx culture through her innovative leadership at the Bronx Museum. Her legacy helped establish the Bronx as a cultural destination, which we are all thankful for. It's hard to forget someone who gave us so much to remember. Holly welcomed the Bronx Children's Museum into her home early in her life. We held our first board meetings there and later displayed the art of children in the Bronx Museum's gallery. Holly played a seminal role in creating an innovative and dynamic arts community in the Bronx. The Bronx Children's Museum hopes to continue her legacy by sharing that gift with children in our community. Everyone knew Holly as a tough, hard-driving, successful arts producer who turned the Bronx art scene on its head and brought international attention to our borough. But I had the opportunity to visit her one day at her spiritual retreat on Vinyl Haven Island in Maine, where she had her hair down and was gracious, generous, and at ease. And I could see then what gave her the strength and joy to be the powerful force she was on behalf of all of us creatives in the Bronx. Thanks for sharing your spiritual energy with us, Holly. Although we didn't know her well, Holly's support and encouragement were always present in collaborations over the years through the Bronx Museum team. They included the Hunts Point Fish Parade, the Teen Council, the South Bronx Trades Exhibition by Martine Fougeron at the Points Art Container, and the Bronx Museum Holiday Market. Her presence was and will be everywhere. Her legacy in our future that so deftly combined the fine arts with grassroots will never be forgotten. Holly Block and I were close friends and professional colleagues. In the 1980s, when I formed Crasdale Galleries as part of Crasdale Foods in Hunts Point, the heart of the city's industrial district, Holly had just come up from Washington, as I had, not much earlier, to be a curator at the Bronx Museum. We decided to collaborate on exhibitions at Crasdale Galleries with the goal to have art in the workplace which could stimulate a perception of something new and powerful and puzzling in the lives of the workers. Our exhibits included artists from all backgrounds. We had determined as a curatorial premise that quality and diversity were the only criterion. We have worked together ever since in one way or another, and we only argued about who was the true founder of the Bronx Arts Alliance. Her soul touched many of our souls, and always will. 